Let's do it, boys. Let's back do it. on the pod, Andy. Welcome back. Thank you. We used to do like full on intros. Now it's just like, <laughs> welcome back, podcast. Let's go. Yeah. On. Just watch watch the other ones for the intro. Yeah, exactly. Half the time we don't even tell people we're recording. Yeah. Like yeah. five minutes into it, and they're like, "Are we gonna go?" We're like, "Oh, we've been going." Yeah. <laughs> this is part of it. <laughs> yeah. It's usually, it just helps you roll into the conversation. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, we can edit, but we never do. Yeah. So, so far. I don't know the last time. I still think that the 1440 podcast is the only one we've ever edited anything. Have you ever just scrapped one? We've scrapped. Like, this is terrible. We have scrapped. No, not because it's terrible, but, well, actually, the, I think you and I have done one or two <laughs> yeah. alone. Yeah. That we had to scrap, but then we've gotten asked by a guest or two oh, they to, didn't. hey, let's cancel that run. Yeah. Let's do another one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That was because, like, news and partnerships changed since that. So yeah. it wasn't worth airing that episode kind of thing. Yeah, I yeah. Gotcha. We had a hilarious one after you won something and we had like a we were smoking cigars out there and we recorded it. Just and smoking. Then, <laughs> well cigars. I was so. watching it, I was like, this is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Half the stuff we said by the time it came out. Because sometimes we'll record, especially oh, that, when that he goes on the road is kind of for a long time. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's not like we're like uh veteran yeah. tobacco. Right. Yeah, you're taking like a full take breath like with it. It's <laughs> <laughs> <Just> falling over. <laughs> so we had to scrap one or two. Yeah, the drinking episodes tend to like work out and be great. Yeah. yeah. Smoking, not so much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but the one we recorded like two days ago, some of the stuff is already out of, out of date because we were talking about the women's partnerships and how yeah, it's about heard... to blow up, but it's already blown up. Oh, is it? I heard, I heard I some heard. rumors this morning. Ooh, let's, yeah. let's get into it, boys. Yeah. Well... Teresa and Sponsel, as far as I know, it are done. Oh. They dropped out of Hamburg. And the worst part is that they dropped out of Hamburg after the Manhattan Open deadline was up. No. And so, they're, so they're just not playing anything? They're not playing Manhattan, what? yeah. They can't give them like a yeah, I feel wild like, card? I feel like the tours are yeah. uh, I mean, I not them. that set in stone to where they can just yeah. Make, yeah. throw them in there. Yeah. But I haven't seen them pop back up. So I don't know. But also, if they're partnership is and we're just assuming that that's what's happening the partnerships then i think so then i, I guess they don't want to play in each other yeah it's tough to play with somebody you like in a tournament when you already know you're yeah. like it's done yeah the lame duck manhattan i feel like is a lot of lame duck tournaments for a lot of partnerships especially on the women's side yeah, yeah. it's tough the to, deadline change like last second and yeah. people were scrambling they're like nobody knew if that atlanta was going to count or the last year's atlanta ended up counting yeah yeah because then yeah, you got right. a lot of people playing manhattan together but not chicago yeah <laughs> the next week so you had to like <laughs> split up but like you know not too bad yeah <laughs> yeah right you have to make it good yeah don't burn the bridge <laughs> yeah. i need you for another two weeks <laughs> Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, I'm sure you're splitting with your partner pretty soon too. You guys have been terrible. Yeah, I mean, I'm picking up venison. I'm picking up venison for Chicago. <laughs> we uh, you guys we hit your peak already. What are you, what are you yeah, do from it's here? All, it's all downhill. <laughs> yeah. Me and Benison almost got out of that men's B pool in Myrtle Beach. Yeah. So uh, yeah. I think he's ready. <laughs> Dude, speaking of ridiculous players playing in B tournaments, we were talking about six man. So played with Jake in six man, Jake Gibb. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And he played a B with his son Crosby. He was 11. And so he was like, at first, like, it's just a B tournament. And he's like, these guys oh. are working for their A's. Like, Jake probably got so competitive. And yeah. so he's like, you know, so Crosby gets kind of, he like takes a hit pretty hard. He's like, all right, like, I don't want this to be a bad experience for my kids. So Jake's like, I start jump serving. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I guarantee it. Every ball I get, I'm hitting as hard as I can. Yeah. Like, Papa Bear came out. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I would love to see footage of Jake giving a B. I think I saw him post, like, uh, or no, Spiker posted something on Instagram of, like, a highlight of them. His kid's good, too, right? Yeah, he's really yeah. good. Yeah. He's tall. I mean, big like Jake. Yeah. I mean, he's already playing in, like, men's tournament even that's if good. it's a b like yeah that's good it's pretty good but that's what jake's saying because jake didn't pick it up till late yeah he's like, yeah i mean he's already got he's hand setting perfect he's got yeah. really good touch he's already moving in the sand really well yeah that's is he hand set like behind his head like jake <laughs> jake and rosie like i dude i don't know how they set like that yeah what? their elbows are super tucked yeah, yeah it's like behind their head the crazy one and look at rosie it looks like he and catches three it fingers with, like, three hands. yeah like this three fingers yeah, yeah. closet <laughs> but literally perfect every time <laughs> yeah. I, me and miles will like joke around and try to like play like other people and I, yeah. I try to do that just like either miss it or uh, yeah. <laughs> it just yeah. hits me in the top of the head yeah <laughs> and jake being on six man we had like an out of system play 
Jake goes like out of system bump set and absolutely perfect in yeah. case he was like when Jake's out of system bump setting just know it's gonna You're be perfect. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was fun playing with those guys. How's he moving in the sand still? He's still got it. Still got it. Yeah. He's lost some weight because he, he's like the appetite's just gone. Yeah, yeah that's, out. that is a crazy thing. That happened to me that two years I was off. Just like, oh, I just have like a salad or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, good. I was yeah. Like, this is so weird. Save it's some money. easy to forget to Yeah, eat. save money and just eat like Gabby, basically. <laughs> 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 yeah. It's going to be a lot cheaper when we retire. Oh, yeah. yeah. Food wise. <laughs> yeah. So did you go all out and be just bouncing balls in the Myrtle Open with Venison? You know, no, I didn't. I there one match like uh, they were just one one game to twenty eight, and uh, it was funny because everyone was serving him and he was super competitive. But I thought it was funnier like if he didn't train at all, if he just showed up, right? And he uh, he was getting so mad, which is funny. They could have served me because he definitely couldn't set. But <laughs> like sometimes he would like pass it decently. Um, but yeah, one game I jumped through the game we won and, uh, it was pretty tight and he hit like a perfect jumbo at like 26 all. Like, <laughs> yeah. It was pretty cool. <laughs> I told him we have to run it back, but I don't think we're going to be able to. What year was that? That was, or maybe that's when I went and met him two years ago. Yeah. We yeah, there, right? yeah. 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 That's, that's right. right. That's right. Um, but yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to do it this year. Not skipping world champs for the Myrtle Open. Is that one? <laughs> <laughs> Just pull a late pull out. Yeah, <laughs> might be worth it, bro. Yeah, just think about it. Yeah, <laughs> you know it's funny. Have you you know the um, God, what's it, Brian Cook's thing, like the volley rating stuff? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I was like, I wonder if that hurts me, just playing with Benison, losing in a match. <laughs> does, That's does good Brian take yeah. all that into account? Like, I think so. I think because uh, he's working with Mike on it a little bit. I think. I don't, um, mm -hmm. I don't okay. really get it. It doesn't like do it for me though. Because I, I don't really understand what's going on. Yeah, they're, too try, much, they're trying to do it like a chess rating. But the yeah. problem is, if you play like a fun tournament with one of your friends, they're like, right. I think, counting it, which is like, right. They, they shouldn't count. And there's a decent amount of those yeah. in volleyball. Yeah. yeah. Like, like Taylor Krabs probably got the Taylor's worst rating in the world. Taylor's rankings. Yeah. He's playing, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's playing fours with like Greg Delgado. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I like the idea of cool, yeah. a chess rating. I agree. If I, you limit it. I think it'd be really good for the girls' beach for college Yeah, coming out of high school because there's so many schools that just sandbag and, like, their fives team should be their, like, twos team. Right. So I think it'd be a good way to, like, have some, like, something to back up the challenge of the – the other coaches can challenge, right, the lineup. But I it, think so. It, like, almost never happens yeah. because it never goes through, so. Interesting. Yeah. I never know about the etiquette. That. dude there's no idea everyone's like, doing it it's like everyone, uh yes because yeah. everyone's doing it yeah like, is it one of those things where like if you're not cheating you're not trying yeah I, <laughs> and it's not even like cheating i guess because it's it's just sandbag it's an unwritten rule right yeah yeah but there, there i i have heard of college coaches like challenging lineups and then it like uh they're like oh no the lineup's fine it's yeah like, Okay. Like, no, they were great in practice this week. That's yeah. why our fives are new ones. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. Huh. But I, I think that you should be able to put your, your kids wherever you want. But yeah. Todd Rogers, he's always been pushing for a Ryder Cup style. Yeah. Or do you know how that works? Yeah. Where, like, if I'm coaching um, University of Maryland, you're coaching SC, I put out my ones, and then you put out a team, you put out your twos, and then I put out my twos. So, like, I could pick a, like, if you put out your twos first and I could pick a team who matches up well. Yeah. Or if, like, you know, if you have, like, Kelly, uh, Chang, and Sarah Hughes, and, like, you know, I don't have anyone to beat them. I'm, I'm going to throw fives, my fives. Yeah. And yeah. we're just throwing that. Or I think my threes or my four can take down the twos, like, matchup-wise. Right? Yeah. But then, so the tire seed gets the first pick? Or, or I don't know second how. Pick. Second pick. I don't pick know how it works, who would get, like, the yeah. first, I don't know, the ordering, but it's interesting. It would be fun. Yeah. The college system totally mess up. It'd be really fun yeah. to do it at the pro level. Yes. Yeah. USA versus Brazil versus Germany or whatever. Yeah. yeah. They used to do those, exhibitions, right? Exhibitions, bro. Yeah. I got, I've got. i gotten two or three, like, solid exhibitions, not counting, like, the little thing we did at the national championship or whatever. Yeah. But, like, fun. We got flown to Brazil on first class. That's sick. Back in 2015 or something like that. Me, Jake, Casey, Nick, Phil, Ryan, Theo, Hayden. 
and it was USA versus Brazil, like our side versus their side, guaranteed money. It That's was freaking sweet. amazing. I think it's like, it'd be perfect to do like the year after the Olympics when everyone's like, you can have a breather of a year yeah, and not totally get after it. And that's like a good, oh, totally. like it's a good year to have a great exhibition. Like, yeah, like totally. 2025 would be an ideal. Yeah. If we pick four it. countries that have four deep, four deep, yeah. hopefully on each gender, I think. No, that was a women's event too. Yeah. So it was both, both sides. It'd be sick. And you could combine like a Ryder cup style, where it's the U.S. versus Europe, you could, you you could give that, them like no, 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 in trouble. No, no, no. We no, could like, say, no, uh, <laughs> you could say, <laughs> stop. Let's not do that. <laughs> <laughs> but we could do like yeah. the Americas, like North America, where we get like I mean Mexico. I was gonna say we do Scandinavia, but, but they're pretty stacked. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everyone no, wants Scandinavia. Fair, though, I think Scandinavia yeah. can have their own team. Yeah, there you go. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, we get like mainland Europe. Yeah, versus Scandinavia versus North America versus South America versus Asia. That'd be fun. Call up Wilco, call up Finn, see if we yeah. can make it happen. Yeah. We got lots of ideas. Lots of ideas. Yeah. <laughs> They're always Execution. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, we can delegate that. That's fine. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Well, you're no stranger to uh, tinkering with new things and new ideas. You're, uh, I, I would say that you're the most improved player in the world at this point in 2023. I can't Thank think you. of someone <laughs> who's fair. improved more than you. Very yeah, I definitely. I mean, I've added a lot of stuff, obviously with like the optioning and jump settings. Um, but I don't know. I feel like I have an unfair advantage because I had Miles like coaching me. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I don't think I could have gotten a better coach for that. How so, wild is that? It's funny. I got an unfair advantage because I got a twenty-one year old. Exactly. Coach. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's so funny. The um, like after matches after Ostrava, they're like, "What's it like playing with such an inexperienced like partner?" I was like, "He's been, been playing beach it's longer the, than me." Like, it's yeah. the exact opposite. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, I mean, it's been cool. Like uh, trying to figure it out with Miles and. He's uh, super curious, as you know, yeah. like relentlessly curious, almost to a fault sometimes. <laughs> like I remember there, I think I told you this, like um, in the preseason for like two weeks, he's like, I'm just going to dig everything with my hands. He was just stand on the 10 foot line. <laughs> I was for like, two weeks. <laughs> yeah, I was like, okay. He's like, well, I can cut off the angles better. I was like, when we start playing like these top teams, like you stand on the ten foot line, you're gonna need like eight pairs of glasses. Per game. <laughs> you're right. And you're gonna, helmet. Yeah. You got like Hydric or someone swinging at you. I like don't take the low seam. Was that tough at, at first? Because you didn't, you hadn't played with him for that long to like r trust him and let him be himself and kind of tinker in ways that nobody else would. Yeah. No, I don't think so. Um, because, I mean, he's already has the results that, like, kind of prove. I think maybe if I was with him a couple of years ago, it would have been mm -hmm. harder to trust him. Yeah. Um, but I think Mike being with us, too, because Mike was with him the past couple of years. Right. Um, he kind of, he's like, yeah, this is what he does. Like, Gets sometimes it. he'll be terrible in practice. Like, I remember there was a USA practice, and we, like, optioned probably, like, 10 balls out in a row. Right. And Mike and Patty are just sitting there, like, you're ruining our drill. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, I think he's he's rubbed off on me, like, in a positive way in that in that sense. I, I try to experiment, um, but, you know, it's hard. Like, if, the, if your partner doesn't fully trust you, they're like, oh, this guy's just messing around in practice. Yeah, right. So, um like giving each other the freedom to like yeah. look stupid or like try mm -hmm. different things um i was trying for a while to block with my hands closed so maybe how's that going with like a fist <laughs> i haven't pulled it out yet but uh it, it, you get some interesting touches like sometimes you'll, it'll just hit the top and go like 45 feet in the air super spinning <laughs> Interesting. Okay. That's a recipe for a broken finger. You know, but I mean, Probably like better actually. No, know. it is better. Yeah, better. If, but if it, like, and if you block it, it here, dude, it goes down so fast. <laughs> yeah. <It's> so cool. <laughs> I haven't found I haven't found like an applicable time to use it really yet. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like, when would that make sense? Yeah. I don't know. You know, it's funny. Like you say, you've learned and like been open minded to his stuff. But like, even for me with the whole jump setting thing, like I. I've always liked doing it, but mm -hmm. I've always gotten the vibes and from other partners or whatever. It's just like, that's like a f kind of a fun thing. It's yeah. Like, it's like gimmicky. Like, yeah. It's kind yeah. of gimmicky. Yeah. Obviously sweet and prove that like, it's not gimmicky if you right. can pull it off. 
right. but then even like you guys or miles doing it from like 10 feet off and i'm like mm, I don't, i'm not really too worried about you hitting from there yeah but then you hit one yeah and it's like oh now i kind of have to respect it yeah and now it's gotten to the point where like everyone's doing it around the world to where like jump setting from eight feet off the net isn't yeah. that bad of an idea and uh even for me so i'm like actually learning from all you guys that have like gone through that period of like this is kind of weird and might maybe dumb yeah to like oh shit like no that's where the game's at like right there's something to it um it's really hard to defend too and it's like, just i mean do you want to hold that yeah the blocker for that extra split second right. and then when you have a six nine guy hitting o over you and calling you a little boy <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's like oh shit yeah oh it's i mean it's just the game's evolved yeah. and now it's there's a few teams that are ahead of others in terms of it being able to do it i'd say you were like in terms of other people thinking of you as like he's probably not going to be a jump setter like like there's certain players who just aren't going to like add this to your game it's just not right. really your game right and at first it's like oh, i don't know if it doesn't look that smooth but you just like we're willing to like fail through that for a second yeah i don't know about fail it's a little drastic no, for dramatic sure, but like yeah. but like yeah you <laughs> had it, some it awkward, really bad. yeah i yeah. was like all right like yeah. he's really going for it like yeah. i don't know if it's the right call yeah but then you see it implementing and get more smooth and it's like oh shit yeah it was worth it like kudos to you for like being open to it and like going for it that's why i'm like fully trying to do it whenever i can too now because yeah. it's just like it's the way the game's going and it freaking works yeah, yeah. i don't know how i got that one set out clean though Dude, that <laughs> even in slow-mo you're like like i've this, already committed just, you that. when i did it i was like in my head i was like oh shit and then i heard you be like what the no i, I and i was I, like I, I don't know I was I, like, oh it's clean i immediately yelled and then i didn't even argue i was like that You're was like, so clean like, like <laughs> and like like the way you i was you with took you it, too though yeah. i was like yeah that's gonna be a chuck and it literally was just like perfect oh. yeah you can read the logo i've already committed to that being my best set ever yeah that was pretty <laughs> yeah, nasty cool. that might have been one of the best jump sets ever like pulled back fully i think you even rotated your shoulder towards the line super awkward yeah yeah ah, i was like it was like full wrist flick yeah i'll take it got it, it on camera perfect. that's all that matters <laughs> yeah. Yeah. but i don't recommend myself to do that again at, in that particular moment <laughs> where it's like drifting tight yeah i don't know yeah, it was cool i mean like you get a. it feels like more of a team game too because it doesn't matter who's getting served yeah like, uh, totally it doesn't matter the strategy of who do you want to serve too it's yeah. like do you serve i don't know either way that that guy was gonna attack if he wants to right right yeah. so it just changed the game in so many ways yeah and uh i think up until about up until montreal i think everyone served me probably like 80 20 for the most part mm. and it flipped so it's been cool the last like month i gotta actually like fully implement what mm -hmm. i was working on which is scary to do in the game like you do it a million times in practice but right it's cool like i feel more free now yeah. <laughs> i didn't like totally mess it up immediately so yeah, yeah. i was gonna ask with uh because your first event was at Tepema, right mm -hmm. or did you do did you no. do anything it was at Tepema because miles was still at school yeah was it how nerve-wracking was it to try breaking that out in a real match yeah i mean that first qualifier match looked nervy oh yeah <laughs> yeah i was so nervous for that match i i literally could not pass a ball um against who we played turkey right hungry 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 yeah dude those guys are good too yeah i was wondering like if they if ajos and Streel are watching you guys like yeah that was not the team we played <laughs> yeah yeah i know <laughs> Yeah, but no, I mean, um, yeah, he called me and he's like, well, I only want you to do it if, like, it feels right or comfortable because we worked on it all off season, and um, we didn't have a lot of tournaments to, like, mess around either because of Olympic qualifying. Like, we weren't in a necessarily, like, great spot uh, points-wise, so we only had, like, two tournaments to kind of mess mm -hmm. around with. But uh, we had, like, a two-hour phone call we basically just decided like yeah we're gonna live and die by the sword if it doesn't work we're gonna keep failing until it works so i think that was freeing in a sense um especially since i knew like 
Miles had my back, like if it went really poorly. Right. Um, I think that was that was super helpful. And then our coach Mike, like super open minded too. I think some coaches would be like, "What are you doing?" Totally. Even at some points, Mike was like, "You guys are jump setting from 15 feet off the net. Like you gotta stop." So we <laughs> we had but we had to like push the range to find it. Um, but yeah. Right. So well, I mean, the way that Miles sets as an indoor setter is just like he's he'll jump set. 20 feet off the net as an indoor setter just right. to get power you know so right. like for him i feel like it's just normal Natural. even the way it comes out of his hand like you can just tell his timing and yeah it looks like he's just an indoor setter setting you yeah kind of thing obviously when it gets tight then it's more deadly but yeah i don't know i i normally i'd be like that's just like why it's a wasted jump like yeah. efficiency wise but yeah. it's not a problem for a 21 year old i yeah. don't think i was gonna ask how your body's feel now because you're not like a, I don't know how heavy Miles is, like 195 pounds soaking wet. Like you're a big dude. It's a lot of jumps. Yeah, yeah. Uh, body's feeling pretty good. I like worked a lot this off season on like trying to build a good foundation and then I've maintained pretty well. Not going to lie, like my collarbone feels like it's going to snap in half right now the last couple of weeks. Oh, like yeah, that. <laughs> that, I do. That's how I am all the time. Yeah. Just like, like that so joint tight, everything. like all the way through yeah, here. Left yeah. one? I'm always left like one, that. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Do you like, how'd you do that? Dude, funny or just no i was like uh, in montreal we were um sitting at dinner and i got up and like these two like what are they are like tenons or something coming out they were like protruding like three inches and they were Whoa. so tight so it's getting better every day um saw the i saw kp yesterday the mm. usa chiropractor and he he's like so funny like i'm i literally have the exact same thing right now so he knew exactly <laughs> what i was talking Good. about yeah um but yeah, I was worried about like the energy expenditure for sure. Um, but it's nice because he's doing it too. Yeah, exactly. So That's what it kind of it it's balances like, out. Every time your partner hits one on two, yeah, you save a jump. Yeah. Right? So you got to factor those in too. Right. And at the end of the day, it seems like the conclusion I've come to is like it's just not a factor. Yeah. Like you're gonna be jumping a million times. Right. Depending on what team it is, you know, if they're shooting around, then you get you're transitioning more and you're jumping more is like yeah i don't think it's gonna be that significant of a number i don't know yeah you don't really it, it's it's like less stress to like if i get an open net that doesn't even feel like a jump you know right. um but if you're like in a super long rally and you I don't can't think i've ever gotten away. an open net because <laughs> <laughs> i don't have a partner that's like jump setting ever yeah i'm always i was always thinking that with lot men last year i was like man you get a lot of no one up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Must be nice. Yeah. <laughs> I know. One day. Yeah. Everything's Can't... feeling good though? Yeah, feeling good. Uh normal like every month and a half back starts hurting. Well, you guys also earned like an easier schedule. For sure, yeah. Because we... you got into those elites. Yeah. We were planning on actually not even coming home from Ostrava until this week. Oh what? That was our plan, yeah. Ooh. And yeah. that and the itinerary was gnarly too, because yeah. it was what your your mala, your mala to the Dominican. Well, oh no, Dominican and then your mala and I then. Thought it was, I thought it was your mala. Then you go all the way back. No, so we, well, we were in Czech Republic. No, played Dominican, and then okay. we'd have to play again like five days later okay. in your mala. Um, and then. But you dropped out of your mala, right? Yeah. Okay, because the, but then you would have been. So yeah. You would have been Czech, Dominican, your mala. Stad. Stad. We would have stayed those two weeks. Espino. Edmonton. Edmonton, crazy, Montreal, huh? Atlanta. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy Holy how much cow. your um, yeah. Oh yeah. Your schedule hundred percent flips. Yeah. By just making those main draws. Yeah. Cause like the challengers are you could argue like just as hard. Not maybe not just as hard because a few of the top teams aren't there, but like Yeah. Those, no, dude, they're stacked. They're stacked. They're yeah. stacked. That's what people, I think, like, the casual fan doesn't understand. Like, the, 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 there's not much of a drop-off. It's like, it's like <laughs> yeah. torture going to, to challengers because it's not, like, a huge drop-off. It's just you have to go play for less money now. Yeah. Now you have to play with, with uh, just as good of teams, yeah, less yeah. money, and more events. Yeah, yeah. Now you get Kotafava and Nikolai for ninth. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's what's so funny. You mentioned, like, the casual fans don't really understand the level drop-off. Yeah. 
Like you and Cam. I don't think a casual fan understands anything about our sport. You like thanks you to guys, our tours. One pool twice in a row, you got like fifth, fifth, and then a ninth. You had one pool in all of them. And they were like, "Dude, you got to start ragging on try on your road to Paris series." Like it's clear you're biased. I'm like, "Well, they're like six and two. Yeah, in the last three tournaments, they're yeah. not. It's not bad. Like they lost. Like they just lost. I the thought wrong you were ragging. Really I just team. I wasn't listening to him. <laughs> he I, just doesn't watch. I was assuming you were ragging on me. I'm like, well, he's just gonna talk about Miles and Andy. <laughs> I'm gonna wait till I win, and then I'll be like, "Oh, let's see what's." <laughs> I don't need to hear the point situation more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So thanks for not ragging on me. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Not yet. You're welcome to. <laughs> not yet. I've been requested to. Okay. <laughs> Love that. Yeah, but the the challenge. I mean, like, I would say pretty much everyone in the main draw of a challenger could easily like do well in an elite. Yeah. You know, on any given like, day. Yeah. On any given day. Yeah. yeah. I feel like there's been a lot of like streaky teams now yeah. lately too, or like, like the Chile kind of thing where Chile, like every season or every other season, they like go off for three weeks or something. Yeah. yeah. And like, I feel like there's been so many teams that have done that lately. Yeah. We're just like, who the, like you guys are not capable of that. And then they just go off and then they disappear again eventually. Yeah. It's just, When's my time? <laughs> <laughs> and there's so many teams out. like uh, like in Estonia who could lose their challenge qualifier yeah. and also medal in Elite 16. Yeah, yeah. Or like I mean Ukraine, like Popov and uh, Resnick. Yeah. yeah, exactly. They just took a bronze in European Championship. Yeah, did they? Yeah, and that's a loaded event. Yeah, that's as good as it gets. Yeah, that yeah may as well be in Elite 16. Easily can be a top team's ninth place match. Yeah, yeah, in a challenger. And you get like Degroot and Luini making the finals. Yeah, right. It's like, <laughs> yeah, there's so many nasty players like everywhere. Mm-hmm. And they can all do everything. Yeah. Like DeGroote's just playing with whoever's available yeah. and still and blocking. Well. Yeah. It was Luini ran up. Oh, Luini Sorry, was running yeah. up. Gotcha. I had that wrong. Okay. I talked so, to uh, DeGroote and Emmers in Montreal. Yeah. And I was, I was giving DeGroote shit. I was like, <laughs> I was like, come on, you're making him run up. Like, you just split block. <laughs> <laughs> and then they put their arms up and Emmers had like maybe this much of a standing reach. I was like, come on, dude. Don't make him do that. <laughs> yeah, it's a... Uh, it's crazy how good DeGroote is with anyone. Like yeah. Foreman's, he's... Right, left. The best in the world. Yeah, right doesn't left, matter. doesn't matter. He's just a good volleyball player, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I think uh, a lot of people talk about the jump setting with you guys, but I think your uh, your blocking has, like, leveled up. I'll yeah. I know, oh, you're stretch good. Stretch out if you need. Your blocking's leveled up, like, like 6X. Yeah. I think uh, I'm trying some different stuff with like timing and shapes and stuff but i think actually a lot of it's miles uh trusted me on the defensive vision and a lot of it is like miles behind me yeah um what do you mean trusted you on the defensive like it was your vision yeah i mean we we definitely collaborated i like it's a lot based off of norway um like i watched so much film on them similar yeah and and we like tried to mold it in a way they're actually doing some different stuff this season it seems a little more random but ours is like very choreographed and mm-hmm. um like i know where he's gonna be i know exactly where he's standing behind me yeah so him like being able to bait and switch with me um i think has like elevated my blocking a lot yeah i was gonna say and this not to like uh, devalue like what you're doing out there but like I was talking with someone about it the other day of like having a n- as a blocker when you know where your defender is behind you and you yeah. can commit to your space like yeah. wholeheartedly consistently makes you so much of a better blocker Yeah. versus when that communication or that trust and you're like I think he's over there and I might want to steal that a little bit yeah. versus like I know if I just take my space and don't let him hit here and here it's automatic. Like yeah. it was, it was like that a lot with Hayden back in the day when I first started playing, I was super free to like, I know if you hit a cut shot right now, I'm literally going to land with my arm open. Like Hayden's going to dig it and shovel, shovel it, it straight yeah. to me. Um, and that made it super like freeing up and opened up my game a lot. And I yeah. was just thinking that with you guys, like, seems like miles is very calculated and like, Andy knows exactly where he's going to be behind him. And yeah. it, I mean, obviously already a good blocker, middle blocker. Yeah. 
So you've had a lot, ton of experience and then size, talent. It's like, pff, yeah. it's a lethal combo. Yeah, yeah. But I, yeah, I mean, that, that was like, I really trust him with the offensive stuff. And we've had like many debates, like probably like 75 hours of debating. <laughs> 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 we get we get some good uh I'll drive to San Diego. On the, dry, the the amount of exits Miles has missed from us just talking about volleyball. Like one time dude, I think we drove north of LA and he was supposed to drop me off in Torrance. <laughs> what? So, yeah, we were like 45 minutes away from my place. Went like 45 minutes too far. Oh my God. But um yeah, I wouldn't say like it, it's not even like my vision. I just like kind of had theories and I really wanted to try them out. And it's difficult, as mm -hmm. you know, like if you don't have that trust with your partner. Yeah. Um, but like one thing Miles, I think, uh, changed really well is like he was super uncomfortable, which I think most defenders are just standing on the line side. Like nobody wants to do it. Yeah. They're like, oh, we're just going to go up an easy cut shot. I was like, bro, we'll run a three. Like you're just going to walk into right. a cut shot and bounce yeah. it. Like, yeah, that's so true. Yeah, but I, but it's like for some reason, like giving up like that much court on a cut shot is different than giving up high lines like 10 times in a row. Right. So um, it's so true. And even as a blocker, you feel like you're in no man's land. You're right. Like, I know there's so much space behind me and I yeah. can't do anything about it. Right. But. It it's, makes you really uncomfortable as a hitter. Yeah, you're it's like, like oh, everything's backwards. Yeah. You like don't believe him. Yeah. Like you're like, yeah, you're nah, not you're gonna just yeah. stand. There. I yeah. can just hit a cutty <laughs> over you. Yeah, yeah. You sure? Just make it super easy, and you just like walk. But then the it. next one, he flies in on it. So now every time you're like, yeah, is he gonna break on it or not? Yeah. And then you're like, no, I, I think he's gonna break on the. And then you slap it down the line. He's just, just standing stand there. there. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like a down ball right to it him. Like, seems so simple. You're like. Why did I do that? It yeah. trips you out. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's such a different look. But, yeah, so we, we combined, like, kind of my, like, theories with some of the stuff he was doing last year with Paul, which obviously, like, I think Miles is one of the best in the world at um, baiting people into shots that he wants them to hit. And his timing on his juke moves are really good. And uh, we've, like, made it pretty much where we have, like, probably have, like, 12 to 15 calls we're still adding it but like they all play off each other so like you could you could see the the same look and we have like like three variations off of it like one where he stays one where he goes and when one where he goes and comes back so Jeez. <laughs> so it's it's cool like i feel like now we get into like the real chess match of yeah. predicting yeah which is super fun yeah and it's playing like, off of their kind of like sweet science yeah yeah would you say that you're um equally as kind of analytical and like enjoy the strategy and cat and mouse of the game as miles for sure yeah i think uh i've always the last like since i started playing beach volleyball i was like i could never do what i wanted like what oh, i thought about yeah and i feel like my body's like finally catching up yeah uh, i still think i'm like maybe a year or two away from like what i really want to be able to like show and yeah be able to do wow. um but yeah, I think I, I, to me that's like the most fun part is like tricking someone. Right, totally. It's not even like out playing them or like you lay out and get like a one-arm dig. It's like they hit a cut shot right to Miles yeah, yeah. or like they hit it like right in my hands. Yeah, exactly. Um, and I think that's when you like really beat teams too. Yeah. So. I would say most people probably wouldn't have guessed that or like they're only seeing it now, that side of you that like, oh, he's he's actually a thinker. It's not... It's not one or the other. Like both these guys are out there, like really enjoying the chess match of it. Yeah. And like I, I try to. I'd say I'm not that type of player. Somehow I do it anyway, but like, it's not like, I can't like express more intuitive. it. Intuitive. Yeah, it's more intuitive. Yeah. Feel. Um, but it's interesting to see and hear that it's like, you think that way, and it's kind of a deadly combo with both you out there thinking and being able to execute on it. Yeah, it, it's been the the volleyball debates are really fun. The oh, I'm sure, yeah, <laughs> they're really fun. Um, I, we got to. And then like, you got Playcheck in there, Mister. Like, what's his website? Beach volleyball. College Beach VB. Yeah. College Beach VB, but yeah. it's like just straight statistics. Yeah. Like, yeah. He's like the statistical numbers volleyball guy. Yeah. numbers guy, and then he's your guy's coach. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, Mike's freaking awesome God, too. Like, I'm not out thinking these guys. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, everyone Mike's worked with it's turned to gold. 
pretty fast. Yeah. Who Mike's else a great coach. I feel yeah. Him and Uber's and Matt Olson at Wave, right? Yeah, down in San Diego. He's yeah. a lot of San Diego. Gotcha. Savvy, Meg, I think Abby. Van Winkles. Yeah, the Van Winkles sisters. Mm. Delaney Maple, yep. Megan Craft, Savvy. Gotcha. Like all those came up through that system. Miles. Yeah. Too. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Mike's awesome. He's so funny to be on the road with too. Um, yeah. We got we got super fortunate getting Mike and having him be able to come to all the tournaments. Yeah. So if, if uh, Steph Placek is uh, watching this, thank you for letting us steal your <laughs> husband for so many weeks. Is that how you, is it Placek? It's Placek. Yeah. Okay. Plat I've always said Placek. I always said Placek too. And then we did an interview uh, in Czech Republic. And after the interview, Miles is like, it's Placek. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but so wait, are we just, I, trusting, are we just trusting Miles or is this, have we talked to Mike? About I haven't asked Mike. That's because a good question. Miles has a funny sense of humor yeah. where he could just trick you into pronouncing his name wrong all the time. <laughs> I don't know. I, that's a good point. I haven't, I haven't asked Mike about it. I'm pretty sure it is Placek, though. Okay. <laughs> Because Miles, that's like his kind of humor. Yeah. No, but he usually gives it away. He'll like <laughs> like smirk a little bit, and look away, yeah. but he can't like fully hide it. Yeah, Miles has those jokes, the really dry ones with like the delayed fuse. Where like three seconds later, you're like, hold on. Yeah. <laughs> Miles seems like the kind of guy you gotta like spend a lot of time with to like get yeah. his humor and his personality. You know? I mean, he's also younger than everyone. Yeah. So yeah. He's really funny though. Dynamic. He's like very mature. In like uh, some senses, like right. when he needs to be. Yeah. And then, like, I feel like I'm like a 16 year old kid too. So like, I think our humor so gets along really well. <laughs> like after I turned 16, I, I I've never felt like older on any of my birthdays, <laughs> which is probably a, a problem. I said that to uh, Diana, my girlfriend, and she's like, yeah, that might be a red flag. Like, mm. yeah. Wait, what did you say? I was like, I never felt older. Like you know, older, you feel oh, yeah, older yeah, yeah, on the yeah. birthdays. Yeah, right. Once I hit like 16, 17, didn't feel any different. 18 didn't feel any different. Peaked. Yeah. I'd say I'm up there until I had a kid. Yeah, I feel like you, that's what that's You drop you... a kid off at preschool, you're like, this is just weird. <laughs> like you're doing pickup and stuff. Yeah. It's funny. But yeah. Have, having your kids had both the, that effect and the reverse effect of me where I'm like, now I get a buddy to just play with. Yeah. Oh, I totally. <laughs> yeah. yeah. When no one else is around and yeah. just go yeah. full kid mode, yeah. full commit. <laughs> Maybe it's different having a son that I can just like... Well, your kid doesn't really do anything. He doesn't do anything yet. But I'm like full on like dresses and princesses. You, know? <laughs> you get the makeup put in. on you? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I let it go. Yeah. Pink nail polish <laughs> yeah. sometimes. That's good. I mean, it's an excuse, right? I mean, yeah. no, I have, <laughs> I've always wanted to. I mean, excuse to do it now. <laughs> yeah. As open minded as you and Miles are, like you guys, you mentioned you have a lot of debates and it's fun debating with them. Does that ever, like, if, because you can both be pretty, um, I don't want to say stubborn, but, like, you believe in your views, too. Like, if you're in a timeout and you, like, want to do something and Miles wants to do something, does that ever come to a head? Or are you like, you know what, trust one or the other? Um, sometimes, I think when that happens, like, we're overthinking stuff. So we almost, like, try to simplify. It really hasn't happened too much because we talk so much off the court that we actually don't talk too much, like, in match. Okay. Um. We have like a pretty good idea, and then if we if it's not working, like we'll change the look, like the picture we want to show them. Um, and usually, like one or the other works. So there's not been too much like in match, but like after the match, I remember um, we played Horl and Horst in uh, Sakurama, and. We watched that. I think that film session was like about four hours for that match. So, holy cow! There, I mean, and it's it's like, not like he's mad or I'm mad. We're just like genuinely trying to figure out like the best solution because it's going to come up again. So, um, we added like another lighter to the defense after that match, um, which I think helped skyrocket us. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's funny. Like he sometimes I'll say stuff. Uh, like very uh convincingly and then he'll hold it against me like later in the argument <laughs> i'm like well bro i'm thinking out loud too you know it's not like uh, it's all like planned out yeah. but it's good he has like conviction too and he genuinely no wants to know like the best solution to whatever problem we're having so um 
still got a ways to go though uh for right. for everything because one um i've commentated so many of your guys matches and uh simon golding he was like our team started to adjust to miles and andy and the comment that i've made like a hundred times is that you really can't because every time a team goes to adjust to you guys you're a different team yeah. like, you guys keep adding you mentioned like different layers to your defense like you, you've layered up and adapted so many times that it's like every time that they adjust, you've already adjusted ahead of that. Right. And I think, do you think that's one of the keys to your guys' sustained success throughout this year already, even though it's like a new thing? But For sure. Yeah, I, I think like adjusting, being able to like trust different looks. Like you might have like an idea of what you want to do against a team. Um, when you play them like a couple times, like they're going to change too, you know. Uh, right. We learned that in Soccer Rama too. Like, uh, we played Avondro and Arthur in It's Pema mm -hmm. uh, the week before. And Arthur, like, made so many good adjustments. Um, like, I was basically out of the net. I don't think I had any blocks. Like, they kept him off the net a little bit. And he was hitting, like, super sharp wrist away. So, um, yeah, just figuring out, like, different ways. Like, there's not necessarily, like, a right way to attack somebody. You just have to be able to, like, get them a couple times in the picture you want and then you can like start playing with them yeah so um yeah adding different layers like having the ability to like step outside of our comfort zone and match i think has been really big and then obviously like fine-tuning the side out side out stuff i think that's gotten better throughout the season yeah. so i think uh if we get really really good at passing it's gonna be good because <laughs> <laughs> watching miles like i, I think after the Estonia match, which is one of the craziest matches I've ever watched yeah. in Ostrava, because he got blocked like five times in a row almost, uh -huh. swinging angle. Uh -huh. And then ever since then, he's added like maybe 15% of his attacks are now crossbody line swings. Yeah. Which he had like, that was his lowest tendency was right. to swing crossbody. He's just like high angle, high angle, high seam. Yeah. And now he's bringing that. I'm like, well, now he gets. Now you got to deal with that. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck. He's actually in the middle of, like, changing his whole arm swing right now. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, Dude, you, uh, guys are built. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are built different. Yeah. I would yeah. just glitch out if I, <laughs> if I, like, tried to copy everything you guys are doing. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, hopefully it doesn't like become detrimental at some point. We gotta like stop it when it's good. Yeah. Um, seems, but I think seems to be working. Yeah, I think like keep like tinkering as much as we can. But even that match, like there was probably three of those balls that he got blocked on. I could option, but I was scared too. Um, just the match was tight and I wasn't comfortable. And uh, so I think that's one lesson I learned. Thankfully, we didn't learn it the hard way. Like mm -hmm. we ended up pulling that match out. But I, I learned. I was like, well. Dude, these blockers are too good like you can't you can't just leave your guy on an island um like the blocker gets on that golden spot and like they're gonna see everything yeah so um yeah i think that was a big big learning moment for me to like not be scared of the situation and like take the option if it's there um and miles is obviously like pretty cold-blooded with that <laughs> like yeah oh, it, it'll be like 10 feet off like match point for them he's just like yeah, hit and wrist away. So um. I wonder where that comes from. Cause watching, did you watch any European champs? Yeah, watching Sweden. I think one of my one of the best matches I've seen, probably like top five all time, or is Sweden versus Italy in yeah. the semis. I just watched that on volley match and, um, today. Freaking, it's like fifteen fourteen in the third. Yeah, and Amon goes to option it and pokes like pokes it, it yeah. over his head yeah. to the other pin. And Helvig like gets kind of a swing, tapes it. Kodafava digs it. They put it away. But I'm like, the balls to try that at 15-14 yeah. yeah. in I the semis it. of the European Championships. I'm like these kids. Yeah, that would have been <laughs> such a sick like uh, insane. Yeah, that would have gone viral. But yeah, he like. But the problem was like uh, Nikolai didn't follow him. Right. So he had the open net, and then he poked it. Yeah, and then Helvig had a poke at line, and Kodafava was standing there. Um, but like that's like you got to take the risk to figure out the boundaries, kind of thing. Um, definitely respect it. Yeah, <laughs> I couldn't believe it. It was, was a pretty like, good set too. It was. Yeah, it was a good set. <laughs> they did I thought... one against me where it was like the like hitting, fully facing me, and then just like before, like under, yeah, like under, yeah, yeah. freaking. I think I think it worked. Like no one up kills it. Well, 
Can't blame me for that one. Right? <laughs> yeah. It would be so silly for me to not jump on that. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like, I'm wondering where, like, Miles and Amon and Helvig, where they even come up with this stuff because, like, no one does, like, a left handed underhand poke to the other pin. Like, in t- like they're, but now they're practicing and working on it. It's crazy. Yeah. yeah. They're doing it. Like a reverse. Yeah. What I loved in Atlanta, so there was, like, a, you guys were warming up to play. I think Troy and Evan, uh-huh. and they, for whatever reason, they had the cameras on you guys just warming up because it was the other match was still going on, but you were like on stadium, and Miles was working on like one-handed dive digs, and then you were doing like a jump poke set, yeah, or something. Yeah. And I was like, this is what they're just working on in their warm-ups. Yeah, trying <laughs> trying to get it familiar. You know that actually like uh, helped out really well. Like the last point in Stad. I poke set that ball. Yes. Because it was too tight. If I would have tried to hand set it, I think I would have netted or doubled. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, just getting, like, weird contacts so that if it pops up in your brain, like, whatever pops up in your brain first is usually the best solution. Right. So, like, having the skill to, like, actually to commit to it, right? right? And commit. if you hadn't done it before, right. then yeah. you'd hesitate right. and you'd probably shank it. Yeah, or, like, slap it in the net or something. Yeah. Like, um, But, yeah, the poke sets, like, I'm trying to get the gun one. Oh yeah, that where one. you like no, you like hit it like right here. Yeah, for the tight ones. Zon was good at that one because he had like you make this L. Yeah, but Zon, that's how this how Zon used oh, to do I his see. pokes, where he yeah, would yeah, like yeah. you catch it and he would drag it. Yeah, yeah right. People, yeah. people think it's like an that. open yeah. hand. <laughs> so I'm, I'm trying to get that one, and then the left-handed swinging for uh, yeah for transition. Yep. Get it a little bit better. I got to ask Phil. Dude, Phil's like hitting like 950 career on left-handed swings. No way. Yeah, he's well, like probably the best left-handed. Him and Avery finally switched sides, and he was just hitting options left-handed against Chase and Miles oh, was he? in Atlanta. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Did they switch mid-match? I didn't watch any of the match. Mid-match, yeah. They put Avery on the left and Phil on the right. Okay. Except mm-hmm. Phil was optioning with his left. I was like, he's pounding balls down yeah. the line left-handed. Well, it doesn't even look like he's got that goofy approach, swing. too, yeah. so he's already a little open. <laughs> it doesn't look like you swing hard, but it comes out so fast. Yeah. yeah. Like, I don't know what he does. <laughs> He'll tell you, too. He's an open book now. Yeah. Yeah. He's also a lot more analytical, like like what I was saying about you, than people might think. Mm-hmm. Like I don't think any, not that many people would have thought that about you because your game didn't match what your brain was doing yeah. for f- years. But like as I played with Phil or against Phil all these years, I was like, this guy's like very instinct- or, um, intuitive with like knowing exactly what's happening and everything being pretty planned out or like you know practiced beforehand or something yeah yeah he understands it pretty deeply he understands the game well yeah yeah it was fun we were in i was in the players tent in hermosa with phil and we were watching we watched your match in stad against george and andre phil was like these guys are a problem (laughs) (laughs) and he's always like i'm stoked that i'm (laughs) <laughs> retired right when all this jump setting yeah. crap's yeah. coming up he's like i don't need to i liked it when everyone was coming up and down right into my <laughs> massive block <laughs> he'd like pretty much beat everyone with just straight over penetration yeah. yeah now that's not giving him enough credit but that's basically what like you never later it was later in his career that Nick and them were like, and stuff. all yeah. right dude you need to like make some moves finally but yeah. like he became Arguably the goat by just pressing on people. Yeah, yeah, but someone that like, unlike anybody else in history, has been able to do. He's like, like stomach over. Oh, like, that was so gnarly. Hit yeah. the ball anywhere, and his hands like just. Per- Back yeah, when people shit. weren't used to it either. Yeah. Like if we yeah. saw that now, we'd be like, okay, well we have Anders's and we have like these not massive blocks. Like it's a thing now. Back then it was like, what? What is? I just got like, block low seam. I gotta swing harder low seam. Yeah, I'm gonna swing. <laughs> He's clearly in the line. I'm gonna swing angle here. Wait, what? He just blocked that too. Like, yeah. what is going on? Yeah. Like I feel like that's how it was for me playing him for the first time, like a decade ago. I was just like, wait. I have what? nowhere to go. He can reach that. Yeah. Like, His hands I know what so I knew where he too. was. I just didn't know he could reach it. Yeah. Yeah. That's one thing that you're getting so good at is, um, and I give a lot of credit to what Miles is doing behind you, but dude, you're, the range of your blocking is crazy. Like when you get like your left hand in the line and you have that spread into the angle, it's like, holy hell, it's yeah. a big block. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm trying to expand it a little bit for sure. I mean, 
yeah, poor, poor defenders on World Tour. Like, it's pretty unrealistic for them to, to dig any, like, hard drive. Yeah. Right. It's like, dude, these guys are freaking pounding the ball. So, um, yeah, that's, like, one of the things I think, like, the range of the blocking is still uh, getting up there. I think it could get a lot better. Um, yeah. But, yeah, that and, like, doing different stuff with the hands to get better shapes. Um, but, yeah, it's fun. It's fun. Yeah, to, sure. Jake it's enjoyed uh, working with you a lot when you worked at uh, – Yeah. When you coached for Spiker. Yeah. He, he was like, dude, I'd – give Andy like five minutes worth of stuff and like, you don't even need to pay me today yeah 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 <laughs> Jake, he, he loved working with it he just loves like open-minded guys yeah he's like you were just a sponge yeah I, I I got that set up through Jordan uh Chang yeah and uh unfortunately like I started playing a little bit more world tour last year so I couldn't help him for too long but I probably helped out at like 10 practices yeah. and I yeah, I, I don't think I I never requested the payment. I didn't give him my bank info, but I would just have like three questions uh, to ask him, and it was pretty cool. Like I think Jake paid dividends. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, <laughs> quickly. Yeah, I think Jake's probably like one of the most creative blockers, like um, in history. Like him and Ricardo, to me, it, like had the most interesting shapes. Yeah, um, he would like do get a lot of blocks like with a bent arm and stuff um and he was really I, good at dragging. so many people that coach against and think that the bent elbow is it's like wrong like yeah completely wrong and i'm yeah. just like i literally do it on purpose we me and hayden called it the jake like do the yeah. jake on this one because yeah. he did it um and then i hear coaches like well like, dude your, your elbow is bent keep your arms straight keep your arms straight. Like, yeah dude i'm doing this on purpose yeah, like it's, yeah it's a way to like change the angle yeah yeah but and, and yeah. you do it so well with um when you read shot and you like keep it it's like a, almost like a cobra where you read it and then you can like snap it yeah out to wherever it's going like anders does that well too yeah. that's what i've noticed anyway yeah it's not like fully extended here you like keep it yeah. here so you can like oh yeah, yeah. Move oh it. yeah, yeah i know what you mean yeah yeah yeah, I, I mean, don't know what it, I'm doing out there, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I, unfortunately, like some of the coaching is like coming from a good place, but like oh, 100 percent. But you don't don't say anything's bad. Exactly. Like, you Especially can't say at this bad. day and age. Exactly. Yeah. Like uh, if if they try it like a thousand times, it doesn't work. Like they'll figure out it doesn't work. Hopefully, if right. they're like an intuitive person. Yeah. But um, yeah, like the Swedish kids jump setting. Or Miles Johnson, I'm sure, like, people at the beginning were like, what are you doing? Yeah. Like, you're going to just give away points. I, yeah. I know, like, some of the girls, too, are, like, still don't even want a hand set because they're like, oh, I don't want to give up a point. I was like, well, you, if, if you miss a bump set, like, the, you miss the tempo or you miss it a little off, like, how many times do you do that a game? Yeah. It's almost worth giving up two doubles or lifts a game. Yeah, totally. So, no, yeah, I, I think, I think like giving the athlete empowerment to be creative and I think that makes it more fun for the athlete too. Totally. So. Keeps them engaged. Um, speaking of fun, like what are you guys thoughts on, um, AVP versus world tour? Like obviously you guys are prioritizing world tour Olympics, all that, but what's kind of your guys overarching theme in terms of being able to choose schedules and like what's the priorities and all that yeah we're uh definitely prioritizing uh world tour right um especially like in elite 16 like we're not going to manhattan yeah. unfortunately like we yeah, were to play how'd that decision uh, go or it was it <laughs> not not much of a decision right um i mean it sucks we can't play in our like backyard mm -hmm. historic event um i'm sure the crowd's gonna be rocking too mm -hmm. and but um I think one of our goals at the beginning of the year, it's not really even like about making the Olympics or anything. Like our goal was to play in the best tournaments in the world. Yeah. And like those elite 16s are the best tournaments yeah. in the world. So I think, I don't know. I mean, maybe even during the Olympic qualifying year, if we have the opportunity, like we might still pick the elite 16s yeah. just cause it's like an opportunity to get better. And yeah. So you guys are kind of just committed to the, the quality of it and just right. improving versus, you know, I guess the, not the legacy of the AVP, but like, I, I think over the years, like I was in that boat at times. And then I saw Jake and Casey like stay home for some AVPs that yeah. we went out on and it didn't sit with me very well. I was like, oh, I hate that they just won those and they're yeah. getting wins. And like, 
with in the american market like i want to be a part of that avp tour and we would go me and hayden played in like two one year three one year and i was just like if i have the opportunity i want to at least consider both and like 100 yeah. percent, our goal is olympics yeah um and it might seem well now it's like going to the elites in the qualifier actually can be risky yeah dude. too so it's, it's the like riskiest thing in the world yeah. yeah it's the riskiest right yeah. R- biggest risk reward um but no it's interesting because th- this time around it was like well none of us signed up are they gonna are they playing against us or are they playing against themselves and the rest of the world right because yeah. if you're, you're only in the competition against us it's like you guys have a pretty solid lead to come home and play in manhattan so it kind of i guess it says a lot about your guys goals and values yeah by not going and we, we also don't, really don't like have... either so it's not really good for me either way yeah <laughs> it's not like i hope you don't play yeah. and yeah. you go get more points yeah well we we also don't have that many finishes yet um we only have five finishes um, yeah that's true that's so that was definitely a, problem, a factor though, right well, yeah, we'll like, see. We we don't know what the the, the tour yeah, that's true. this that they haven't released really schedule for next year. That's a good point. Um, but yeah, we would like to get to nine or ten this year. Um, then you have more flexibility right, right into next year. Yeah, and I think the challengers point. next year are going to be like really stacked because people are going to be cramming for points near the end. Um, yeah, but yeah, I mean, I think it's a bummer that we can't play the avp especially for manhattan or like we miss Tramosa too like yeah that sucks like right. we want to help um like build like an enjoyable product for the fans right. too um and obviously like the avps are really difficult to win and it's good when it's a fully stacked field mm-hmm. um i think it's like good for the players good for the fans good for the business yeah. um i know the avp really struggles with uh people not playing it sucks yeah right um well but s- scheduling and not, they didn't schedule it over getting scheduled over yeah really hurts yeah yeah especially with hamburg too like Olympics. hamburg's not only an elite it's one of the better elites oh, right like the fan base I've, I've had my best matches in my career there yeah when i played in world champs there in the semis or medal rounds yeah so like I would really want to go back there. Last time I went there it was literally the best yeah. environment I've ever played in. It looks like twenty thousand people or something. It was sick. Yeah, it was really. sick. I remember watching that on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Stad. I mean, it was pretty unreal. Yeah, yeah they were fun, man. Yeah, it was really cool. Yeah, I mean it's so cool like playing in front of that many fans. Um, the and the European just like freaking go crazy they play the johnny depp song oh just, my gosh they just they lose their it. mind dude yeah, they lose their mind it's like the worst song in the world <laughs> just johnny depp over and over yeah. and over again but they love it. it dude it is awesome like every time it starts coming on i just get so fired up you just look up to the crowd they're like yeah dude they're they're like they're to dance yeah. oh yeah like half yeah. of it's volleyball maybe. yeah I, yeah i mean yeah. they love their volleyball and they know what's going on but like to do what they're doing and have that much energy and stand up that long and dance that many times like they're committed to yeah. like hey we're gonna go dance in the volleyball stands today like yeah. <laughs> that's what we're going to do the best fans dude i don't know what what dance it was i don't know if it's like for switzerland but they kept playing the song and then they would do this dance and then the announcer would be like you want it one more time i'd be like yeah <laughs> <laughs> i'm not kidding like after the they gave out like the medals and stuff I think it went on for 20 minutes. Really? It was like a 30 second dance, and they just be Is like, that you want what to you guys were doing? I saw a video. Yeah, Miles, like, dude, I was not Christian doing it. Tan, yeah, I was yeah. not doing it. I was like, come on, bro. Like, <laughs> we gotta go. We gotta go. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it went on for like 20 minutes, and I should be like, you wanna do it again? I'd be like, no. I was like, yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the, those environments are super cool. And obviously, like, Stad's so historic for like all the, the great players yeah. um, to play there. They have like an incredible fan base and it's beautiful. It's like, kind of like the Manhattan Beach of the World Tour, yeah. I'd say. Like yeah. If I could get any World Tour win, probably be Stad, yeah. right? That's what I, in terms I, of like I having that. Pull players. It'd be cool. Like we had the Beach Major Series for a while, right? But if you were to pull players and think of like what would be the four majors of the World Tour, I think Stad. 100%. Hamburg. Maybe yeah. If you'd, man, if Vienna would come back, Vienna yeah. would be it. I mean, anything that Hannes wants to put on, <laughs> yeah, basically. Yeah. Give Hoggen him free beer, bro. Yeah, yeah. Porich, Croatia, yeah, back in the day. Awesome. 
I remember Todd like, saying clogging for it was sick. his favorite. Clogging for it was sick. Yeah. I got like I heard, three uh, clogging for it. Stavanger was phenomenal. Stavanger was dope too. You got the giant it was sword. it was different. It wasn't like a massive event. Yeah, the sword made it really cool. Yeah, that was probably the best part about it. Yeah, which is crazy. Like it shows like if you just make like a cool prize. Yeah, it's sick. Like, Everyone people wants remember to win it. it. Like yeah. I want to win that thing. Wait, how do you how do you bring that back? What Stavanger? Yeah, how do you bring back a sword? You ask April. She has a couple. Oh no no they, no <laughs> really? they they send it to your house. Oh, okay, okay. you don't have to, to like pack it. No. <laughs> uh, how'd you do with the cowbell? Dude, I no, just packed that thing. Yeah, I smashed it in there in the check bag. Thankfully, like the airport person wasn't really paying attention. Yeah, it was like my bag was like seventy something pounds. I was <laughs> so they, pissed. They didn't charge uh, me. One year, me, I think it was me and Evie. We get our shuttle in the morning and we went out that night. It was super early. Throw our stuff in the in the car and all that and then uh april comes in with like three suitcases mm-hmm. and her cowbell yeah and her cowbell's like sitting on my neck <laughs> <laughs> just clanging <laughs> and that's a gnarly drive like super windy yeah. to get out of there it's yeah. like two hours and like windy yeah to get back down to geneva <laughs> oh, screw this stupid cowbell yeah. <laughs> was that so cool to win that though yeah, that's like bucket list. Yeah, it felt pretty like honestly unbelievable. Even if you watch my celebration, we like because you watch the Norwegians play those matches, and you're like, I, I've seen this movie like two hundred times now. Yeah. Like, you know what's gonna happen, right? And for us to like pull it out, and yeah, I like almost had like a second of disbelief, and then I started celebrating. Yeah, <laughs> you did like the full victory lap. Yeah, like, you, yeah. You ran around. I was gonna celebrate with Miles, but I was like, Miles is gonna celebrate. <laughs> <laughs> you can stay on the ground. I'm gonna go do a little victory lap. Uh, what is what's actually going through Miles' head? Because people from the outside are seeing like, yeah. oh, all right, that's all right. Like back to work. No, to, he, like he's definitely stoked. But I think like from his perspective, I don't want to put like words into his mouth. Right. Um, but I've heard him say it. I think it's the same for me. Like volleyball is not everything. I think he really loves like getting better and um, competing. Huh. Um, but like the accolades or like the the wins. That's not. He's not gonna let himself get too high. I don't oh, think right. because if you do that, then you gotta have the, the opposite too. Yeah. Um, and I think it's easier said than done. For he sure. seems to be just right there. Right. Yeah. All the time. Yeah. But <laughs> but you you'll watch like uh, when we played Brown Houston in pool playing. Stod, I just watched that. He was he, like, stoked. His hat, yeah. Stoked. Yeah. yeah. Same same with when we played um, Lozjak uh, and Brill. So there are certain matches. I think when it's really intense, but. That one was obviously very intense, um, the the final. Um, but I think it just comes out naturally. He's not yeah. going to force it. He's not going to do it like for the cameras or because people think he should celebrate. Right. Um, so, I mean, I respect it. Like, I think it's a it's a good strategy to like have that perspective. It's just difficult to have that perspective in totally. the moment. Oh, hundred um, percent. It's yeah, crazy because yeah, yeah, it's I so had to do something. Oh yeah, yeah. you got <laughs> to let loose sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Um, what about uh, all the trash talking and and talk through the net and stuff? I, I wanted to bring up that topic just because oh, I feel like last? people. Well, that the Huntington like yeah. there was so much that came from that, and even videos. I know. McKibbins want to like capitalize on it. I know. Kind of thing. And I took, I give him so much shit. I'm like, go for it, bro. Yeah. Whatever makes it entertaining. Yep. Yeah. But like, I don't think, I don't, I don't know if fans understand the turn it on and off yeah. that, that us players have. Like, yeah. And, and the difference, at least for me, of trash talking versus talking Yeah. through the net. You know, it's like, like when you're say too small little boy or whatever, it's like, it, it to me is basically you're saying like, I'm not. I'll engage in this too, that you know, like yeah. we'll, we can go back and forth. I'm not gonna like play down to, or I'm not gonna let it make me play down. Yeah. And uh, versus, there's like trash talking. There's like you're not shit. I'm trying to like make you think less of yourself, kind of trash talking. Like yeah. Kevin Garnett, like yeah. that's talking shit. To yeah. Me. Yeah. But to just talk through the net and be like, hey, just checking in with you guys. Where are you at? Like, yeah. how are you feeling? What if I put this thought in your head? Yeah. Like, yeah. how are you going to react? Yeah. And then as young guys, it's like, well, you might as well. Like, especially when they're beating you. Like, might as well see where they're at or yeah. whatever. And then there's like heated moments where like, I know I kicked Miles' yeah, hand. Yeah, but it's not like But I, only, I know that only me and him know about yeah. it. And then he goes to the ref and I say, stop crying or whatever. Yeah. And then I like how you came to his defense. And yeah. 
I don't know. I, I think all that stuff was great in gamesmanship and whatnot. Yeah. Some people, I mean, everyone wants to have their opinion and yeah. freak out about it. Um, but I'm, I'm, uh, curious what your guys' perspective is on it. Yeah, no, I mean, yours like, versus Miles is probably a little different. You, you know, it's the funniest thing is I made sure that Maddie uh, got like a clip of me saying, like, just for everyone, like, there's but no hard feelings. Like, too. I love trying game, and he didn't put that no part way. in. No way, <laughs> dude. And then, and then the Trevor match this week, yeah, like. You see what Cam said. I was like, that's not a very Cam thing. He's like, that's not what I said. That's yeah, what I said. They, they like edited it down. They edited it's like it. AI. You got to be careful yeah. in their booth now. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's good. I think it's entertaining for the fans. No, it's great. And I think, um, yeah, obviously, like, we have no beef. Um, yeah. Like, it's just heat of the moment. Like, give a little jab there. But it's not, like, um, it's not personal or anything. Yeah, it's I mean, just you like, are trying to do, like, if, if you can say something or do something to, like, yeah maybe make them think differently right. or put their head in a different space. Yeah. You're doing it. Yeah. Right. But Pe- it's, yeah, it's gamesmanship. It's gamesmanship. Yeah. And people, people will look at it and be like, Oh, that guy's like a dick. Right. Like, it's like, that's not what it is. Like there's, some, there's it could be with some people for sure. There's an art yeah. to it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. If there's like, if it gets really personal or something yes. or like, there's, there, there's definitely, definitely a boundaries. line not to cross. Yeah. yeah. But like there's different gamesmanship too, where like, you know, somebody's like, It'll be super taking nice to you. Su- oh, yeah, it's super nice or taking super long, like wiping their glasses. Oh, yeah. Like there's a bunch of stuff. That's so. the worst. Kalinsky. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, yeah. I watch I watched your Kalinsky guys' doesn't match. talk trash and he <laughs> pisses people off more than anybody on tour. Yeah. I watched your guys' match against them in Atlanta and I was like I turned to Mike. I was like, if I knew Bill was playing, like we could have warmed up 30 minutes later. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he had a full like body towel, like wiping himself off. Yeah. And, he, and he'll carry the towel all the way onto yeah. the court and then walk to the ref stand. And yeah. Put it up there. Put it, yeah. Drape it. But I love it. Like Bill, and I don't think it's in Bill's character to like trash talk. So he's found a way to like be a gamesman within his own right. Um, yeah. It's, it's so, I think that's what gets under my skin the most is the ones where people aren't, won't, talk or like be out loud with it yeah it's like jake used to do that all the time right jake would never engage in like any of it yeah but i know that he's just as bad if not worse than everybody in terms of that gamesmanship and like doing something and whereas kalinsky's like silent all the time but he's at all times trying to do things to be like change the tempo and talk to the ref and like do all this weird so i don't know it's funny everyone's got their own thing yeah and bill is so good at it yeah he is so good yeah, is. at getting people oh like, totally heated and yeah. angry and out of their game i just i just think of it like he's giving me timeouts now it's not yeah. like yeah i also think like the refs are getting walked all over but that's on the refs whatever yeah, they gotta the, throw him a yellow card or something Bill, oh though. just be like yeah i mean just be like you're gonna get carded Jeez. if you walk over here right now i see you walking here yeah. don't walk here <laughs> like, yeah yeah the thing with bill is that if there's like kind of a 50 50 call I don't think he's ever getting it. No. From the refs. See, see, no, he that's... got one against us. He got a Did good he? one against us. Did he? Like a clear touch. I even walked to the net because he was quiet. Yeah. Like, and I was at the ref. I was like, you know, if Bill did not touch that, he'd be staring in your face, screaming at you <laughs> right now. And I talked to the ref after. He's like, I know. I blew that. Because <laughs> I knew that Bill was silent and he must have touched it. But I was talking to Bill under the net. I was like, listen, I'd be doing the same thing as you right now. Yeah. Yeah. I know that you touched it. I'm g- I'll give you the point. And you he know, actually admitted it in that moment, which yeah. I was surprised. You, you know what really bothers me for the international stuff, though, is, like, the players get mad at the players. Like, don't get mad at me yeah. for not calling a touch. Like, get mad at the refs. Yeah, international. Like, I'm, I'm not getting paid to, to call touches. Like, we literally have paid that's refs. That's a good point. A- A-Rob told me, he's like, if there's paid refs, you don't call shit. That's, yep. how, that's how I think. Yeah. yeah. And, like, but, but, like, some people will get so mad at you for, like, not calling your touches or, like, you get away with something. And then they, like, start yelling at you. So international, is, I've gotten into it with players over the years. Like, yeah. guys have gotten on me for swearing, stuff like that. Yeah. I'm like, bro, what are you yeah. talking about? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Uh, but touches and stuff. The, the thing that I, when I'm doing it, I don't like crossing lines. Like, I'm not going to go out of my way to lie. Like, yeah. if I touch it, I'm going to walk away probably right. and be right. quiet. Right. Not be like, oh, no, I swear on my right. life. And, uh, yeah. You know? Yeah. I'm not going to, like, put up make a scene yeah. out of it yeah i'm just be like i hope they don't call it yeah yeah i mean i'll i'll obviously be like no no okay right and then yeah. I just like walk away yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 but it's not like you touched it and they call it and you go up and like, there's no way i touched yeah. that ball yeah i mean yeah but internationally it's a whole different like the whole like there's more we're, we're taught in college we're like 
blast someone in the face and be like, yeah. suck it. Yeah, yeah. And then we go overseas and you're supposed to be like, hey, are you okay? Good job. Like, yeah. All the song comes and gives you a hug. Yeah. You're like, yeah. F you, bro. Yeah. Get the f-. Yeah. Cause it's like offensive almost. Like, what do you mean? It's sorry? almost patronizing. What do you mean sorry? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Exactly. It's like you hit me in the chest. It's a volleyball. It's fine. Yeah. And that kind of stuff. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. That's what, because it's like kind of an etiquette thing. Like if I hit someone in the head, I should apologize. I'm like, I don't hit it hard enough to hit yeah. anyone. Yeah. <laughs> like, and we're just, you know, I guess it's just an American thing. Like we're not, <laughs> Yeah. The etiquette while competing thing yeah. is like we've already accepted that's out the window. Yeah. <laughs> the, the only thing I will do is like the tape bases because that just sucks. Like I actually feel bad for the other team sometimes. Yeah, I'm like, I don't. Oh, dude. <laughs> so, I'm I don't sorry. apologize. <laughs> yeah. Because just it's, part of it's the game. like it's a sorry, same, not sorry. It's the same. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's the same thing as a touch, you know? Like, yeah. There's so many calls missed. Yeah. It's just like. You got trickle aced. Yeah. I'm happy about it. I would love to I see, just I'm got sure. trickle aced on match point. You did. And Miles oh did God. not apologize for that. No, <laughs> yeah. oh, it, no, it was Chase, nuts. right? Chase did. Yeah, it. I asked him because Mike was watching the game and I was like, if they both came back and I was like, who got the trickle ace? And Chase was like, Mia, you know I'm blasting for the tape. I was like, don't call your shot. You definitely were not I'm trying black. to. <laughs> <laughs> You're yeah, definitely. Right. You know me, bro. Yeah. <laughs> and also, like, all week the refs were telling us on that court, hey, the yeah. middle's going to be low. We can't fix the net. Yeah. And right there in the, in the middle yeah. of the tape. Yeah. That's such a, like, it sucks that games end that way. Yeah. My dad was like, was started like telling me about like for five minutes about how disappointed he was. He's like, I just, that just can't be the rule. And I'm like, it's part I of the mean, game. Yeah. We're not, I would we're not going to bring back the, the freeze. I want to yeah. see the A-Rob rule, not the freeze. What's the A-Rob rule. You get with, a choice. Yeah. yeah if, to play it. Or if right. offense plays it. Or if it hits the offense player off the tape, it's live. Yes. Yeah. But you have the opportunity to just dodge it. Not play it. What yeah. about the one that hits it a little and you're just like, oh. yeah. yeah, it like skims your arm. Because sometimes no when it hits the tape, you're just getting a free ball. Yeah. And it's perfect. It's almost better. Right. But play it. Yeah. Oh, 100%. And sometimes, yeah. like the one that's unplayable, the one that you guys got aced on for a match, and that no one wins in that. But a lot it's, of the times, it's. Oh, they if, won. But they won. If fans <laughs> lose, it sucks. Yeah. If the net's like really well like put in like if, if it's really taut you only get the skip ones like it yeah. never dribbles over More skips. Yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah but i remember in manhattan the manhattan qualifier last year duncan buttinger hit one that was our first round draw freaking duncan but he was like 282 was like <laughs> <laughs> that sucks <laughs> he hit this scud missile that hits the tape and i'm like following it and it skips right and just like, oh yeah pegs me in the shoulder yeah i was like damn dude i've gotten um i've like jumboed someone <laughs> they like fall and it just yeah they went up. forward and then yeah. it came over <laughs> like that was sick <laughs> yeah I've gotten some weird I think I did that to Kame in Manhattan I did something weird like that where I aced him cause he had already fallen forward and it like came over his shoulder yeah and like, and, like trapped like, him up here back. yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah how you doing on time I gotta gotta head out pretty soon here yeah. okay we got a nice Hour 15 in? It's been an hour 15? I think so. Dude, it's yeah. funny. Every time we've had you on the podcast, you've like, it's been one, you've like leveled up. Yeah. Because like the first time we had you on was with A Rob, I think. Yeah. And then it was that after. That was in the old house, right? Yeah. 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 Crazy. Yeah. And then it was after you got picked up by Billy. Yeah. And then it was after you won with Phil. Yeah. And now you're like one of the best teams in the world. Yeah, <laughs> it's been pretty cool to document. It is trippy, man. Yeah, it's been. Uh, I feel very lucky. I mean, I got. I, I the guy side. I feel like most of the guys are like really cool to play with. Um, but I've definitely gotten some like really good partners that help me like get to where I am. So, yeah, I feel like I. I obviously try to work hard, but I think everyone works hard. Um, I think I just got fortunate. To, to be put in the position I am, so it's been uh, it's been a cool ride. Hopefully, it keeps going. You've earned oh, it. Yeah. You've uh, the intersection of uh, luck and hard work is pretty good. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, your, it's, it's no fluke. Yeah. yeah, your schedule moving forward. You got what? Uh, Hamburg, Hamburg, Chicago. Um, then we'll go to Paris. Paris. Yeah, to World Champs. Okay. Paris World Champs, and then have a little bit of a lull, and then oh, I guess not really, and then Dubai, and ideally uh, World Tour Finals. Yeah, hopefully. That'd be cool. It's World Tour Finals is what, your best eight? I don't know. I, I hope we have eight finishes. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. We're at five right now? And we're yeah. at five. Hamburg World Champs, Dubai. See, that'll get you eight. Okay. <laughs> yeah. 
huh. maybe pay off my student loans. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Gotta win, gotta win that one. I remember uh, when I finally did that. I think it was Hamburg. When I like finally made that check, I was like, this is going to the end of my student loans. Yeah. 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 I don't even it's know good, if uh, good time. if I win World Tour Finals, if it's going to clear it. <laughs> <laughs> SC got a little more expensive uh, yeah. four years after I was gone. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Andrew, great to have you on again, brother. Thank you, guys. Yeah, bro. Yeah, thank Thanks you. for coming. We're going to yeah. go camping in a couple weeks, too. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not. Uh, uh, Deanna says I got to change some diapers while I'm there so you can save me some. Okay. <laughs> we'll get you some practice. Yeah. That's an experience. Yeah. Has you kids? changed any? No. Yeah. It's worth it. Yeah, I like, never, I I'd was never help, change one. I was glad that I had some uncle experience before. Uh, not that that's what you're trying to prepare for, but like, it's a it's a life experience. Yeah. Yeah. I change, didn't change, change a single diaper diapers. until Austin's newborn diapers. And newborn poop is like that black tar. He's got oh. that Austin poop, huh? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, the newborn will trip you out. You think it's an alien or something? Yeah, it's just like what moving a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> it moves. <laughs> No, it's like uh, it's tar. It looks like tar. It's crazy. With a hint of green, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> now they're normal. It's Can't not, wait. It's not a poop. Anyway, <laughs> lots to look forward to. <laughs> That's a good Feed him well on that day, Trout. Yeah. 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 I'm not feeding anyone. That's the lane. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's true. <laughs> on that note. Shoots. Shoots. <laughs>